Three tips to improve your lyric writing. Number one, tell a story. People love a story. We can't help but tell them all the time, in conversation especially. If you're running late, you're often compelled to tell people why you were late. There was an accident on the motorway, or the train was delayed, or you slept through your alarm. When you see someone you haven't seen for a while, they may ask you, what have you been up to? Which is a short way of saying, I don't know what else to say to you, so tell me a story from everything that has happened since we last spoke. People have often written songs about stories for a long time, so why not do the same? You could even split it up into sections. Your first verse is the beginning, your second verse is the middle, and your third verse is the end of the story. Number two. Think about whether you're writing in the abstract or the real world. Either can be useful for the subject your song is about. It may be that one appeals more than the other depending on the genre you're working in, your personality, or perhaps on a song-by-song -song basis. You could argue that the abstract acts as a form of escapism from the harshness of reality. Equally, you could say that focusing on the real world could tackle the reality head-on. To think about these concepts may help you generate ideas to get your message across. Number three, what's in it for the listener? As much as I'm all for the idea of using music as a form of catharsis, wouldn't it be great if your lyric writing was to have that effect on not just yourself, but on other people who listen to it? Of course you can't please all of the people all the time, only some of the people some of the time. But thinking about how your lyrical content could apply to a bigger picture or a group of individuals may help people to respond to your topic in a more accepting way as opposed to a more disinterested way. Well, I hope that has given you some food for thought. Of course, there are no hard and fast rules with lyric writing, but hopefully these three tips will have helped you to make more accurate choices in what you're going for. Thank you very much for listening. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe. Alternatively, you can have a look at the links in the description below.